boys today if there's one thing i've noticed when i'm trying to do the baby nurse tactic it's that a lot of people have gotten smarter and it's a lot harder to actually pull it off successfully. So I'm gonna try and make a little bit of a different method. We're gonna go into the game, we're gonna miss as many blinks as possible, and then we're gonna try and make it seem like we've rage quit or went AFK, and then as soon as that last gem pops, that's when we start playing serious. If you do enjoy these style of videos, please do leave a like, and I really hope you enjoy. Okay, we're in on Rancid Abattoir, and hello, David. Almost forgot I'm meant to be acting like a baby for a second. Now I was about to just sack and blink right on his forehead. <laughs> but basically what we're trying to do, which actually isn't easy, is we want to just sort of be close with the blinks, but not that close. So that we're just missing like that. That's kind of perfect. Maybe even a little bit closer if we can manage it. And we want to show all four survivors that, and then we want to get a nice middle location. And then that's where we want to AFK. We want to get a nice... Oh, she spun back into me. That's not what I want, Claudette. I want you to bully me. We want a nice middle location, and then that's where we want to just go AFK or or rage quit. That's basically what, what we want to make it look like, is that we've rage quit. Okay, I've shown Claudette, and I've shown David. I just hope that, because this isn't the exact method, that maybe people are less expecting of it, and they don't do all of my totems or something like that. That's the last thing I would want. But I need to show the Zarina and the Kate. So I need to find the Zarina and the Kate, show them that I'm pretty bad. And that's when we need to go and just AFK. It looks like the Zarina, the Zarina and the Kate might be relieving. This is the Kate. Okay, perfect. So we missed one swing on the Kate already. That's good. To be honest, she's stealthing in the area, but I'm just gonna not even try and check that too extensively. Yep, this David. <laughs> Little spin, you know when they do the little spin that they're, they're feeling themselves? That's actually the Hidden Room that I made the Hidden Room video on. Yep, okay, perfect. Just missed a whiff, this is where we're going, AFK. Okay. This is where we're gonna basically act as if we've rage quitted, essentially. And I mean, already it thinks, I think they don't suspect anything. So maybe, maybe this is the new method. I'm excited to see how it works though. We also have PC players in the lobby, so there's gonna be an endgame chat. Yeah, David suspects nothing, which is perfect. Perfect. Okay, David's down. One survivor here. This survivor has adrenaline. Perfect. Um, okay, I don't really know the locations. There was one over there for sure. Where's the other gate? I've got a gate there, which they're not on. I know that. This gate, I don't know. Perfect. That's the David. This was the Kate that I saw on Bitter Murmur. So we're missing one survivor right now. I have Blood Warden if I need it. But there's just one survivor that we're missing. Theoretically, they popped a gen over here somewhere. So most likely they're in this, like, half of the map. If I can get line of sight, we're winning. Claudette's down. Claudette's over here. Okay, so they're probably going to go for the David. I just got to find one of them and get an Infectious proc on the other. And then I'm set. Maybe the Claudette had Unbreakable, though. His best case scenario for us here is they're just very aggressive, but they're just not doing that at all. They might even be in main building somewhere. They got my Noed out. Okay, yeah, we definitely need some kind of Blood Warden play then. And they got Kate up already. These guys are playing very, very organized. It's going to be very difficult to win this one, actually. Oh, Zarina. Okay, pretty fast time one. Everybody's injured, but you can see, like, they're playing really smart in the sense that Zarina is not going to go down anywhere near the gates. Or as soon as she gets hit, she just goes other side of the map as far away as possible. We did get Infectious Prox though. Claudette's here. Get that. Oh, all four. Oh, perfect. Then we can still win this. We don't know if David has dead hard. Okay, perfect. We got it anyway. And the last survivor was actually on the other side of this jungle gym. So providing there's no unbreakable. And they haven't gone too, too far. We should win this. I don't know, though, for sure. I'm going to go for a hook. Oh, do I hear Kate? Kate? Oh, no, I heard you healing somewhere. I heard you healing somewhere. There she is. She's right here. No way. I heard her healing herself. Oh, caught up 4%. It okay. Still got to carry on going. I've got to be careful because that gate is really close. Oh, Zarina. Um, okay, I still think we win this. That's a really lucky 4% though. I say really lucky. What was that dead hard? That was so late. 
I even swung late because I was like, okay, if she has that hard, we'll catch it. And then she just DH'd so late. But we'll take that. And now I'm excited to see this endgame chat, that's for sure. Very excited to see it. There you go. They knew. They were looking for the doll totems, but their team didn't do it with them. I respect it. Okay, so we told them good luck in next. And let's get on to the next game ourselves. Oh, okay. So we got Dead Dog. A very good map for this build. Or for this tact tactic, I should say. I feel like what I should do straight away is just fail to blink up. Because I feel like that's just exactly what you would expect from a, a nurse that isn't the best on a map like this. Okay, we've got a whiff on David. We'll aim for another whiff and then we'll switch to somebody else. He's doing the big spins. I'm going to overblink. Perfect. So the aim isn't to make it look like we're completely awful. It's basically just to make it look like we're having a bad game or just missing a ton of blinks. Or whiffs or just, just in general, just not having a good game. Okay, I didn't actually mean to get that hit. I didn't think it would connect, but that's on me. I'm not going to show them I have Infectious, so I'm not going to keep chasing this David. Actually, do you know what I could do? Rather than showing each individual survivor, I could just tunnel vision this David for about three gens, but carry on missing blinks. And then I just whiff a blink, and then basically that's what I'll do. So I'll miss, I'll miss a hit or whatever. I mean, this David is making it very hard for me to miss my blinks right now because he's running into me. Okay, nice. I like... Swung late there, so I thought he would either get the stun or pallet down. He got the pallet down in time. Just go AFK here. Hopefully, they catch on to the fact that I'm AFK. Yep, here they come. And to blind me, of course. I respect it. Get your points. He's feeling it. Hopefully, as they pop the gen, I can just get a quick down on the A. So it'll be a perfect start, as you say that. One with adrenaline, okay. Oh, they're right next to each other. Yeah, I should go for this. Hello, Feng. One blink onto her back, and the other one was by main. David's right here. Perfect. Two blinks for David. And now the other one was on main doing the gem. So where they went, not too sure. They could have went to pick up the slug. They also could have went just go for the door. They did my totem. That's honestly fine if they don't have unbreakable. If they have unbreakable, that's going to be tough. Uh, They took distance. Where did this person go? Their scratch marks are so weird. Did they go into the basement, I wonder? Their scratch marks are really weird, so it kind of looks like they just sort of dive behind something, maybe. I'll check the basement just to make sure. Okay, well, as long as if I'm like... There we go, I see the survivor, perfect. I was gonna say, as long as if I have like a high POV, and I can see the map. We're chilling. The survivor was here, right? I'm not seeing things. Yep, there we go. Damn. I, I could barely see her in that bush. I'm surprised I actually saw her. GG's. Wow. We're really lucky that they didn't have Unbreakable in that endgame. That could have been really bad, actually. And all four of these people are on PC, so we're going to have a fun endgame chat. I'm very excited. Okay, so if you look at the endgame chat here, straight away they were like, I called it, I knew it. But uh, they didn't actually end up doing all the doll totems, so. Dead Dog is a very, very good map for hex perks. Because the totems just typically are pretty hard to find. That's why I like going to Dead Dog with this build. And he actually said it was a two-man swoof. This guy was in a two-man swoof, so. It's pretty funny.